This is the Audit Time tab for the uh, LMN Time Timesheet screen. Under the Audit Time tab, you're going to get to look at uh, payroll details to make sure they're accurate. So for example here, I've, I've clicked on this row to open up a timesheet, just click on this row, and it's going to show me the timesheet details for this specific timesheet. So it's Tuesday, April 2nd, Mike Lysacki. The customer names that I visited are here, and the, or the tasks that we did that we visited are here, and the employees are underneath. Now notice here it says clock in. So this is what time the employee said they clocked in. Actual is going to show you what time it actually was when they clocked in. So you can see here, uh, Mike and Jack clocked in at 3.38 p.m. and it was 3.38 p.m. So we know this is, that this is accurate. They did their uh, due diligence when clocking the time. Same thing under clock out. Shows that they clocked out of this task at 4.06 and it actually was 4.06. So this is a, an accurate timesheet in terms of the employees um, clocked in and out exactly when they were supposed to. If we look at a different example, however, you'll see an example of what it looks like when the employee doesn't clock in exactly when they were supposed to. So here, you can see we clocked in at 2.05 a.m., but it actually was 9.30 a.m., and actually it was a completely different date. This is a test timesheet. Um, you can see here, this is showing up in red, because what it's saying is your employee clocked in at this time, but it actually was this time. And this is our ability to sort of catch people with timesheet fraud. So we don't have people clocking in early from home from their, uh, from their phones or before they get to the job site. Now you can find whether they're at the job site or not because the maps here will track the geolocation of where they were. So if I notice this, it was 2.05, but it was actually 9.30. Where were they when this happened? So I can click maps. And it'll actually open up a map showing me exactly where the employee was when they clocked in. So if I had a feeling they were at home, this would either confirm or, or disprove that suspicion. So you can see over here, I can see where they clocked in, where they clocked out, and where they edited the time, both in and out, if they did edit the time. So that gives us a good uh, audit tool, making sure our employees are clocking in and out when they're supposed to, and also that we're not being taken advantage of just because we've got a mobile time clock system. Once you're happy with the different uh, timesheets that have been submitted, this, this screen, by the way, will always show unapproved timesheets. You can change this status, but by default, what we really want to look, like, look at here are timesheets that have been yet to be approved. Once you're happy with the results, that the timesheets look accurate, you can tick them off, and down here in the bottom left, you can say approve the selected timesheets. And it'll say, are you sure? And you can hit yes, and you'll approve them. So that's another screen for approving timesheets. That'll show you a little more information about the jobs and where and when employees actually were when they said they were there.